you know cars have such good lighting but you have to be like in the exact right position and be lucky enough to have a tripod in the car that sticks i'm currently in line to get my battery replaced something i wanted to talk about real quick was if you're someone like me who watches a ton of videos about like anything spiritual like spiritual advice anything like self-love or self-positivity kind of crap like that um that stuff can also be overwhelming uh and weirdly enough i have forced myself i have forced myself to try to take a break from it and surprisingly my mind feels even clearer uh because you know while that stuff is you know while that stuff has good intentions uh you could really need anything you could really need a detox from anything anyway so i'm gonna be real and authentic i watch not as many but i love watching tarot readings and i love watching and listening to like podcasts that talk about frequencies and uh bringing your dream reality to life and all of that and i love it and i probably will never stop watching it but i'm learning that even positive like advice like that can also become a little bit too much and i have surprisingly felt more peaceful after taking about a week a week or so a break away from anything that may look like serious spiritual talk because here's the thing so i'll be at work right um and i'll like randomly think of uh just past situations or I'll think about future situations that may or may not happen, and I start freaking out just a little bit, right? And I'm aware of it. And I think, okay, is, should I just observe it without analyzing it at all? Or should I just take a moment to accept it and just feel what I feel, right? Because then at that point, I'm thinking of like multiple different spiritual advices, and then I kind of get confused because then I don't know which one to follow. I think naturally as humans, we always want to be accepted, loved, and we always want to, I, I feel like we kind of pressure, no, we don't kind of, we do pressure ourselves to try to be like as perfect as possible, right? Or to seem, or even to seem enlightened to the point where we can't even let ourselves be human, right? Well, uh, after not watching some of these types of videos for a few days, I can honestly say this detox has actually been very rejuvenating. And it's not like, I don't think of past situations. I do, but it's like now I'm not letting the heaviness of spiritual um, guidance like overwhelm me at all. Like I'm kind of just there, you know? I feel like in a way this could be a spiritual type of video, but I, I just kind of wanted to express um, how I've been feeling in my thoughts and maybe this could be a sign for someone that you may need to detox from watching all these tarot readings and all of that because ultimately uh, I hate to admit it but underneath you know if we peel back all the layers it's really just a feeling of not trusting ourselves and we uh, we look for validation or we look for acceptance through other people's uh, videos or their experiences and you know by now we all know that there is more to life obviously than just working jobs and paying our bills like that's just that's just part of the human experience but I, th I feel like by now we all know there's more to it and I feel like you know the economy and the way we're viewing jobs or how we're viewing ourselves I feel like our relationships in general with like money and work is changing like it's 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 just gradually always changing and i think it's wonderful um but yeah i think just knowing that should already be kind of a relief um but i don't want to say this to discourage people from like making videos like that because like i like to make videos like that too like i love giving advice based off of like the books i've read or the, or the podcasts i've listened to or the lectures i've listened to you know i always take everything with a grain of salt so ironically i actually made a video it's now deleted because i just didn't like it anymore i made a video a couple weeks ago on a blue just called i listen to too much spiritual advice dot 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 and i love it well I love it, but I don't. 
because then I spent the next like I don't even remember I don't even remember how long the video was like 15 minutes I spent the next 15 minutes just sitting in grass talking about all the spiritual thoughts that go through my head just to give a couple pinpoints about it I talked about how um, I got off of TikTok and Instagram uh, mainly because I felt overwhelmed not only just with everyone's drama and information but I even got overwhelmed with the amount of spiritual content that I exposed myself to and I'm not saying that YouTube is any more innocent <laughs> or anything or uh, not even Pinterest you know I mean you can't really escape it necessarily but um, just leaving those two apps uh, it honestly life doesn't really feel any different um, because now at this point, YouTube and Pinterest have become a replacement, but I still like to find spiritual advice on there. I just feel like it's not as, like, so in your face. But I briefly talked about, like, some of my favorite creators on here and the advice that I always remember. Uh, and I mainly talked about how this whole concept of, uh, you know, your dream reality and going after your desires, you know, it's all just a matter of, just trusting yourself, believing that it can happen, and just doing your best. And I also briefly touched on uh, feeling grateful and lovable with yourself already and not waiting to get that car or that house or that job you want to then feel valuable. I basically touched on all of that. And again, while that's good advice, um, spiritual advice can also seem really overwhelming. And... I can honestly say, after taking about a week off from it, I, I'm really enjoying it. Like, I actually feel like I'm in a true flow state. I really do. Like, I really do. Normally, I would constantly go back to a tarot video, like maybe from the same creator. I would go back to a tarot video, or I would just go on my YouTube Explorer page, and I would see all this stuff like... Um, if you're seeing this, it's meant for you. Uh, and no offense to those creators, but, you know, normally I would think, oh my God, I should probably watch it, you know. Um, but now it just feels, it actually kind of feels powerful to scroll past it because now I'm at the point where I don't really feel like, um, what's the word? I, I don't have the urge to watch it as much, right? Uh, but yeah, it's weird. Normally I would have to go back uh, I would go back to like three spiritual videos a day to kind of like revalidate myself like okay I'm okay now um, you know everything's okay like I would need constant reassurance that's the word I was looking for I would constantly go back to spiritual videos for reassurance like um, I am not my mind I'm not my body life is just a game life is just a playground you know and again I love it but I should already feel like that without watching those videos. Again, it, it's it can be it can be a good reminder for sure. But um, yeah, I actually feel like I'm going with the flow. Like I definitely have some circum. I have like one circumstance right now that's like not the not perfect. It's not the best. But like I don't feel panicked at all. I truly feel like I am actually embodying go with the flow. I feel like I'm actually embodying what I told myself uh, near the end of 2023. I said, I want to truly just go with the flow. Whatever happens, happens. And there's always a solution to everything. And things are only problems if you view them as problems. There's always a solution. There's always a solution. If there's a solution, then it's not really a problem. You know? So, yeah. Um, anyway, if you actually made it this far in the video, thank you so much for listening. I know I tend to be repetitive. Oh, and also, in case you're wondering, um, that's... Wait, where is he? That's Jerry. I, I actually did not lay him like that on purpose. I actually just threw him back there after um, I was done handing out candy and he just landed like that. So now he's just chilling with Sonic back there. If you're planning on detoxing from spiritual advice slash self-help slash self-transformation videos... Um, you can do it. I believe in you. It's going to be okay. If you love watching those videos like I do, that's pr totally fine. But even that stuff, um, you could detox from once in a while. It's okay. <laughs>